My glorious subscribers, I ask that you join me on this journey of mine. A journey of a lifetime. A journey of self-reflection and courage. I ask that you all join me in putting one of the world's largest and most coveted mysteries in our lifetimes to rest. What Hogwarts house do I belong in? Let's find out! Question one! The moon nor stars! What the hell is happening? Alright, the moon or the stars? The moon, stars, moon, stars. Kirby Superstar, cheese. What the hell is happening over there? Quick, I must make a decision fast! Otherwise, the world would be taken over by branches. Can't allow that, just moon, I'm hungry for cheese. Which road tempts you most? Uh, the wide, sunny, grassy lane. The narrow, dark, lantern-lit alley. The twisting, leaf-strewn path across the woods. Or, the cobbled street line with ancient building. I don't see half of those things in this. First of all, we're on a very strange planet here. We got both the sun and the moon in the sky at once. And this doesn't seem like it should happen. I, I, I consider myself a very Nathan Drake askew person. I'll, I'll go over there, I'll check out, maybe I can find some ancient magic shit. That sounds fun. Which of the following do you find the most difficult to deal with? Hunger? Yep. I honestly find hunger and cold are, uh, synonymous. <laughs> Alright, fine. I'll answer honestly. Love me! You are attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Ooh, there's a lot of choices! Look at all them dots! Oh, this is gonna take a lot longer than I thought! Oh boy! Tabby Cat! Siamese Cat! Ginger Cat! Black Cat! <laughs> She's hot! White Cat! Tawny Owl! Screech Owl! Brown Owl! Snowy Owl! Fay Goat! I want it so bad, but why is it a toad? Ah, eh, screw it, I'll be, uh, I'll be typical. After you have died, what would you most like people to do when they hear your name? But of course, I want people to think of admiration for my achievements. One day, when I'm long gone, I want people to think back to my videos and think back to me and say, Ah, one of my ears still don't work because that son of a bitch does not know how to balance audio. Yes, that is what I really want. What are you most looking forward to learning at Hogwarts? Apparition and disparition, being able to materialize and dematerialize at will. I'm gonna say no, because if I do dematerialize myself, I'm worried my wand might backfire and I might not come back again. That doesn't sound fun at all. Transfiguration! It's an interesting party trick and also an incredibly interesting way to assassinate someone. Oh, seriously, there's like a there's like a fan fiction about this. Look at that. I'm gonna link it in the description. There. Flying on broomsticks. Ah, no. All about magical creatures and how to be friend and care for- No. Why would I want to be a specialist when I can be an all-around badass wizard? Of course I'm gonna find every area of magic I can. Four boxes are placed before you. Which would you like to try and open? Uh, the small tortoise shell box embellished with gold inside which small creatures seem to be squeaking. That thing could eat my face. I don't know about that. The gleaming jet black box with a silver lock and key marked with a mysterious rune that you know to be the mark of Merlin? Oh, what? The ornate golden casket standing on clawed feet whose inscription warns that both secret knowledge and unbearable temptation lie within. That sounds like some Bandora box shit. No thank you. The small pewter box unassuming and plain with scratch message upon it that reads, I open only for the worthy. You know, there's probably something awesome in that box, admittedly. But, I'm probably not worthy. Merlin it is! I mean, it's freaking Merlin! Left. Yes! 
Ravenclaw! Yes! Awesome! This is the one I wanted to be! <laughs> I guess the sorting hat does take your choice into account, because this is what I wanted to be! Yeah! I mean, seriously, screw Gryffindor. They're full of themselves. Nobody likes a Hufflepuff. And Slytherin are assholes. But Ravenclaw? Woo! Hell, it sounds like a heavy metal band. Nope, time to figure out the other one. Now, if I remember correctly, I think Le Iver is it Livermorty is the school of witchcraft and wizardry in North America school of magic, which was founded in the 17th century. Uh, so more than likely, I wouldn't be going to Hogwarts anyway. This is probably the one that counts. So screw it. Let's go. Oh wow, yeah, it even looks like America. This is totally not England anymore. Do you prefer, uh, do you prefer to remember or to experience? Experiencing things is far more fun. I mean, look at that pirate ship in the background. There's clearly some pirates on over there. I want to experience that shit. That's going to be fun. Let's do that. Which would you choose if you could only have one? The power to change one day in your future? Uh, not really. That would... That would involve me knowing my future, and I would rather not do that. that that's kind of boring. The power to change one day in your past. Yeah, thanks. I'm pretty sure everything I regret happened over a period of several days, not just one. Does that count myself? Because that would be awesome. I could go skydiving without a parachute, and it would be cool. The power to bring one person back from the dead. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't need that. I don't need the whole world calling me the second Jesus or something. No, thank you. I'm gonna take my troubles elsewhere. The power to cure one illness worldwide. Again, I would rather not be heralded as Jesus or the second coming of the Messiah. Thank you. Thank you. The power to eradicate one quality from all humans. Crocs. The power to know the answer to any single question? All right, we have to, to step back here. I guess, uh, just step back a second. Now, when you say the power to know the answer to any single question, does that mean I only know the answer to a single question? Or do I then know the answer to any single question I can think of? Because if the latter, that's pretty broken. Could I just suddenly say like, can I, how do you make like Iron Man's suit? And then suddenly I know exactly how to do it. That'd be pretty cool. Oh dude, what if I had like an Iron Man suit that was run by magic? Yeah, that's some shadow run shit. Nah, I'm probably gonna go with this one. I don't know! Has anybody got a question for me? Cause I don't know one. Can I be a mad scientist? I don't know any questions! I'm a relatively happy person that doesn't really need or want to know anything outside of sciencey stuff. I've got one! Oh mighty person or all-knowing being or device, I ask you, do I have the ability or can you show me how to make science fiction technology a reality. I will show you everything. Yes! If I could, I would never feel pain, fear, regret, shame. These, 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 I feel like you need a lot of these. Fear, pretty important to know when to get your ass out of a situation that you're gonna die in. Pretty important, I'd rather hang on to my fear. If I don't regret anything, then I instantly become an asshole. Which I mean, I kind of am already, but more so than that. Shame. 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 Yeah, I, I could do without that. Oh God, Uncle Bob! I wish I knew how to forget. Win. <laughs> yes, I wish I knew how to win. How do I win? Seriously, I wish I knew how to get through. Look at that tiny hole. I can't fit in there. How do I get through that? It's a small hole. Look, the Holy Grail's down there. I gotta get through that hole. How do I get through that hole? I wish I knew. 
No curse can work without the victim's secret consent. What does that even mean? That's false. Yeah, curses. That's how they work. Okay. I am now in Pookwoodji. The hell is a Pookwoodji? That I feel exhilarated, I guess. I'm a Pookwoodji? What's Pookwoodji? Welcome to House Pookwoodji. Named by James Stewart, who, who doesn't know how names work. After the fiercely independent magical creature, the Pookwoodji. Pookwoodji House is sometimes considered to represent the heart of a witch or wizard. It also said that Pookwoodji favors healers. Wow, they got that wrong. I am not a healer. Well, that's it. I'm a Ravenclaw and a Pukwudgie. And I, I got that wand right there. 14 inches of goodness. It's more than a $5 foot long, I tell you what. Mm -hmm, yeah. Well, then I challenge you people, all the people that you're there, tell me what, what house you're part of. Both of them, I guess, if you're from either. Yeah, you can do both. You just go ahead, tell me. I am a faithful Ravenclaw and happy about it. Awesome! Ravenclaw! <laughs>